Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, we're going to look at Halo Infinite and talk about why you shouldn't sleep on the bog standard AR. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so let's start by saying that since the AR is the default weapon that you're given and has been in several Halo games, I wouldn't blame you for assuming that it's a piece of crap and that you should ditch it at the first opportunity. But that would be a mistake. It turns out, if you take some time to learn how to use it properly, it can be a weapon that's worth holding on to as you play through the game. Uh, I'm showing you some gameplay in training mode in this first round. I'm just holding down the trigger going absolutely full auto to show you how the gun jumps around, how the bullets tend to spread all over the place, how it takes a while to kill someone, and really this is most people's initial experience with the AR and if you don't think much about it, this might be your only experience with the AR. So. If you're just blasting full auto with the AR, there's a good chance that's the main reason why you kind of hate it. So, uh, I, there you can see just the score that I got. You know, I wasn't like going super crazy, but I'm just going to show you the basic thing you need to understand about the AR to do better with it. And that is, you should not be holding it down full auto. You should be firing in short controlled bursts. Here, you can see me using shorter bursts tap firing basically the weapon and it becomes a lot more effective not just in its time to kill but also the range at which it's effective at, at close range you can go full auto with this thing but even then you're gonna find that the bullet spread causes you to lose quite a bit of fights but if you can gain the discipline of burst firing the weapon you can you'll actually find that the AR has significant range to the point where you can get people at medium to longer ranges uh, just fine and you can end up winning quite a few fights just by using this properly uh, the next thing I'm gonna jump into right after just the the weapon training is going into uh, a little bot mode so here I'm gonna show you against some bots so there's a little bit of combat and movement how this first kill just hammering full auto how you can see it has a relatively slow time to kill um, granted it's halo you got to pop shields and stuff first but it's quite a bit slower when you just pump do full auto versus here even at a slightly longer range with some pump firing that kill is a lot cleaner and a lot more effective so it's just going to illustrate here i go full auto to give kind of an illustration of the kind of bullet spread i use that whole magazine didn't get the kill and then I think I pop fire this guy and you can see a lot more effective. So the basics of, of using the AR effectively are essentially control the fire rate, make sure that you're using the encounters that you want to for it, um, but don't go full auto. So I'm going to switch over to some normal gameplay highlights from the AR. So this first clip is going to highlight what I think is kind of the sweet range the sweet spot range for the AR but also how surprisingly far that range actually is based on if you've normally just kind of used the AR as a as a close range full auto spam fire weapon uh, but here you'll see that you can actually and what I would recommend engaging with the AR is actually at what I call far close to medium range meaning you don't want to be point blank with somebody uh, with the AR necessarily um, just because with them having melee or perhaps even a better close range weapon, it's not ideal for point blank range, but at close, at farther ranges when you're still close, like about this range here, um, you can do a good job of staying almost full auto. And then if you'll back away, like you see here, you can, when you're pump firing, you can keep those shots on target and get kills from further away with the AR than not only than you would expect, but then your enemy would expect. With you having the AR, they will oftentimes not necessarily push that advantage thinking, oh, he's, he's backing away, he's got an AR, I'm safe. And you can actually get some really effective kills with the AR at that medium range. So with this next clip, I wanna talk a little bit about 
Yes, the AR is not the best weapon in the game. Uh, here you'll see that I swapped out my pistol for a BR. Now the battle rifle is one of my favorite weapons in Halo and I think one of the best, most versatile, effective weapons that you can get. I would always recommend finding one and picking one up. That said, I have learned with using the AR that for encounters like this, I will keep that BR in my pocket and at closer range, I will rely on the AR just because it's more forgiving, you know, it takes a, a good four shot with the BR uh, to get a kill, which is extremely effective, especially at medium to longer ranges. Um, but I have started to, to keep the AR in my back pocket so that when I get closer encounters, I can rely on that over the BR. Um, so something to keep in mind, it's a kind of a mind sh mindset shift on using the AR in Halo. In the past, I have really been kind of anxious to just ditch it and just get it on the floor. Here, I'm, I'm trying to get these shots and backing up because you need that longer range with the, the BR. But as it's running lower on ammo and I'm moving in closer, the AR is, is what I'll switch to. So in Halo in general, it is largely a game about finding power weapons, finding the most effective weapons for the job. But I really wanted to make this video to emphasize that you should not just dismiss the AR as being ineffective. And I've seen quite a few people, whether it's for challenges or otherwise, um, perhaps uh, preferring the pistol over the AR, which at longer ranges can be okay. And if you're a really, really great shot with the pistol, uh, that can work all right. But for versatility, ease of use, and if you just have the discipline, to just properly burst fire and pump fire the AR, it will actually be more consistent, more effective. Uh, and again, one of the things that I think is very powerful about it is when you're using it, a lot of your enemies will definitely underestimate you. They will think that, oh, well, this guy's just using an AR, especially if they see you backing away with an AR, if you start your engagement at close range, they will often let you kind of retreat into uh, what they consider a more safe distance because nobody really thinks the AR can engage at medium range. Um, but if you're pump firing, they are going to be dismayed and pissed <laughs> to discover how well you're doing at killing them at a range that they don't think is really possible with the AR. So at this point, that's really the basic advice the, that I have for you to use the AR more effectively. I, I highly recommend that you spend some time with it and give it a fair shake, give it more of a chance. Um, again, I wouldn't necessarily prefer it over some of the better weapons in the game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass up a battle rifle for it or a rocket launcher or a sniper. Um, but don't be quick to dismiss it and don't just, as soon as you spawn, throw it in your pocket and switch to using your pistol first because uh, I think what you'll find is that uh, the assault rifle can be an extremely useful tool and and really catch people on the back foot. Um, so if you guys uh, enjoyed that, leave me a like. If you're going to try and give the AR a little bit of use, go ahead and, and show some love. Uh, if you guys are already using the AR uh, and you have some tips I didn't leave in here, um, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, subscribe for more tips on games in general, not just Halo. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.